Speaking of 1993, Snoop Dogg drops Doggy Style. You were on the song Ain't No Fun. Well, actually, 92, the chronic dropped in December. So the chronic ran all through 93. Right. Doggy Style dropped in 94. Oh, okay. Before oh, being, my, my, you got good memory. I'm just saying. That, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, right after the chronic, Poetic Justice came out, the soundtrack, and they wanted Snoop on it. John Singleton did. And Suge was like, he got about to drop Doggy Style. He can't be on it. He can't be on it. But we got the dog pound. Me and Daz just put a, made a group after the chronic. We got together. We were together all the time. You know, we just said, man, we might as well make a group because we were solo in Death Row, each one of us. So we came up with the dog pound. You know, he Snoop. We the dog pound. We're going to represent all the homies. We're going to represent the dog pound on the mic. So we became the dog pound. Suge loved yep. it. Dr. Dre loved it. Dog loved it. So Suge pitched the dog pound to John Singleton and said, shit, Snoop on the hook. He was like, man, anything with Snoop. Bam. And that's how we got our first record is the dog pound, the Poetic Justice soundtrack, Tupac and Janet Jackson. And uh, we had niggas don't give a fuck. Crazy, right? Right. And it was Snoop's record. He gave it to us. He was like, all right, so... Corrupt, you're going to say my first verse. Dad, you say my second verse. Y'all write your own last verse. <laughs> it's like, damn. So we got a chance to be able to spit one of the dog verses. ooh -wee. And it was a classic, too. That's iconic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was that the first time your song was in a movie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. First time. First time for every, everything in the beginning of Death Row was a first. Right. First time I released a record. Uh, well, actually, I did the SOS band when I was young. I was featured on there, but it wasn't like the chronic, though. Shouts out to the SOS band. They gave me an opportunity when I was like 17. Yeah. And, um, and uh, so the chronic was my first real release uh, like that. And then after that, Poetic Justice, my first soundtrack I was ever on. And then Doggy Style, the first video I was ever, I ever uh, was featured in, which was Doggy Dog World, where I became a star. <laughs> and where I got to actually rap, because I was in um, What's My Name. You know, he gave me a cameo. And I said, what's your name, fool? You know, Dr. Dre said, Corrupt, go in there and fill in that gap for the radio version. I was like, damn, Dr. Dre picked me? I mean, all of these things are just like, I'm just shocked. Yeah. Uh, he picked me? Okay, all right. Just say, just say something. And I just said what was on my mind. What's your name, fool? And Dr. Dre loved it. Like, ugh, Snoopy loved it. And that was the beginning of learning that, you know, my voice is an instrument. Um, and they just liked my attitude about things when I, when I lay my raps, like on next episode. You know, just the way I spit, like a talk, and it's like a verse. There's so much impact in it. Like the Janae Aiko record. Mm. I just talked at the end, but it was almost like a verse. It had that much impact. Yeah. I learned all of that from just doing, uh, just saying that one line on Snoop's record. What's your name, fool? <laughs> that was it. Did you feel pressure at that beginning moment, stages, just being around such goats? No, I felt proud. Okay. I love it. You know it. what I'm saying? I loved it. You know what I'm saying? Right. I lived for it. You know, I still live for it. You know, uh, it's the excitement of it, the um, the rush. Definitely. It's the mic. Right. Oh, yeah. 